Thank you for clicking on my video. My name is Desiree and for today's video we are going to be doing a review and a tutorial based off of this right here. So this is by I Heart Revolution. This is their Little Mermaid collection. So what I have here for you is a eyeshadow palette slash blush palette and I believe highlight a highlighter and a lip gloss. So this is what it looks like inside of its little cardboard packaging. They all more or less have the same look about it. And I think they did a really good job with just this packaging itself. Even the lip gloss is very beautiful. It's gorgeous. So let me show you what these products actually look like. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow palette slash blush palette. So this is what it looks like. One bronzer. For me, it could be a bronzer, but basically it could be a highlight. These are supposed to be highlights, and these are supposed to be blushes. And here you have a bunch of eyeshadows. And this is the highlighter. So you open it up, and inside is this beautiful little heart with this uh, champagne pinky shade. Ooh, very buttery to the touch. So you can definitely sheer that out and it has this beautiful glow. So gorgeous. And this is the lip gloss. It has this beautiful um, geo looking thing here. The actual handle, Mermaid, has a little she shell there. And this is like very beautiful. Um, this is like a very beautiful gloss, even though it's sheer. It has purple iridescence in it, and I really hope that my camera could really catch this for you. I mean, it just shines like the ocean. It's just so gorgeous. And it has a nice uh, buttercream scent. I'm, I'm living for it. I would have liked it to have a little more, I don't want to say ocean-y scent, because I don't think that would, that's not a good scent. That, that, that's actually gross. That's gross. Ew. But I mean, I wanted a more fresh scent, if I could put it into perspective. A more fresher type of scent, but nonetheless, let me give you some swatches of the eyeshadows and then we're going to start a tutorial. So working from the top row all the way to the middle section, so this very yellow shade here is Flounder. This is Waves. This is Scuttle. Uh, this is Ariel, which I don't think that was the right shade for her, but that's just my opinion. Uh, this is Sebastian. This is Seaweed. This is Adela, C, and Eric. Okay, so starting from this shade here, this is Aquata, Mermaid, Triton. So this is Alana. This is Flotsam. This is Ocean. Latina, and last but very not least, Ursula. Upon initial swatching, a lot of the matte shades are a little more on the drier side, and the ones that are more of a creamy texture that really have that color payoff are going to be the shimmery shades. Like the shade Aquata, it's really beautiful. It's even kind of just like coming off, kind of chunky, but when you swatch it, it's really beautiful on the hand. Um, but overall, the color payoff, the pigmentation is definitely there. But now I'm going to do some swatches of the blushes and highlights. So here we go. Okay, so these right here are the highlights. This shade here is the Heart of the Sea. This middle bronzy shade here that you can barely tell, but it's actually really pretty, is Under the Sea. And this very light neutral shade is Rule the Wave. Then over here we have Party, oh, <laughs> Part of Your World. This is a blush. And right over here we have Make It Splash, and this last shade that's really beautiful is Total Catch. So this is highlight and blushes. Okay, so that is all the swatches of the eyeshadows, the blushes, and the highlights, and this highlight on its own, and the lip gloss by itself. Um, so now we're going to get right into the tutorial. And if you want to hear my final thoughts on this entire thing, then stick around. And if you like this type of content, then give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because it really does help me and it really just, it makes my day like this and it makes it like this, like even bigger. So let's get right into this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm priming my eyes with this. So this is the Burt's Bees eyeshadow primer. I have it in 002 eyeshadow primer. This is just a base. Um, 
I like it. It works good. And I'm just using this uh, Luxie brush. This is a 203 large shader brush, but I use it to prime my eyelids. And I'm just going to put this all over the eyes and prime. Okay, so now that you're super close to my face, I am going to take the shade Scuttle, which is this really uh, very light shade, almost white, and I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid. And I'm just placing this as a way to set down my uh, eyeshadow primer, and it just creates a nice base. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brush right here. This is by Crown, and it doesn't say what kind of brush it is, but it's just a fluffy brush. And I'm going to use the shade Ariel and I'm going to place this and that's that lavender shade that really beautiful lavender shade and I'm going to put that in my crease okay so when I swatched it it had a pretty good pigmentation but now that I am actually using the shade here in my crease it's really not popping up the way I want to so I'm just going to go ahead and keep building it up until I get the consistency that I want and let's hope and pray Okay, so I pretty much tried to build this up as much as I possibly can, and yeah, I'm not liking it so far, but the show must go on, we're just going to continue. As you can see, I already have some kind of thing going on here, and we're just going to continue. So there's a couple shades here that are really calling to me. I'm going to use a shade called Adela. It's this beautiful greeny looking shade, and I'm just going to try to do a halo eye. Also, don't you just hate it when you have watery eyes and then the water comes up and it just kind of ruins your eye primer or kind of ruins your eyeshadow? Right now I have some kind of allergy thing going on um, and it's a, making my eyes really watery and now my primer is just not sticking. I mean, that's kind of annoying. Okay, so so far I'm really liking that green. So now I'm gonna use the shade Aquata, and I wanna really put that, it, it's this beautiful um, blue color. <laughs> it's just this beautiful blue color. Um, it's the one that I swatched and showed you that it was a little bit chunky, but it's actually really pretty. And I'm gonna place that here in the middle of my halo eye. Oh, and I'm sorry, the brush that I was using to do the green part is this Sonia Kashuk brush. I can't tell you exactly what kind of brush it is because it was never said, um, but it looks like this. It's a small little dome kind of fluffy brush that's also flat on each end, and it's good for, you know, a little bit of blending and also packing on color. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. So far, it's okay. Okay, so I really want that purple to kind of really just pop. And I'm going to use the shade Alana. And I'm going to use this small angled fluffy brush. This is also by Luxie. This is a 131 mini angled brush. And I'm just going to very slightly put this here and, you know, see what that does. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the look, but... I just really want this purple to, you know, to really be on here. So let me just very slightly... Uh, I mean, it's not the worst, but okay. You can like so far. And so far, I think I like it. I think I want to stop here. But I want to add a little bit of something in my, uh, you know, here at, for a highlight shade, Eric, because it's this pinky shade. And I think it'll really tie into the look pretty well. And so I'm taking this dome brush. This is by e.l.f. It's the contour brush. I and mean, I'm just going to place this right here. Right underneath the arch of my eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm going to remove these. Okay. So I'm going to do the rest of my face off the camera. And then I will come right back. Okay, so you can barely tell, but... Um, my eyes have kind of severely damaged this makeup look only because my eyes continue to water and it's driving me crazy and it's ruining my makeup look. So I'm going to try to finish up this look. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of color underneath the eyes. 
and I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did I'm gonna apply green in the outer inner outer corner and then a blue in the center so let's hope and pray that it comes out really really good because so far I haven't had much luck and I'm also using another Sonia Kashuk brush this is what it looks like it's just a shorter version of that brush that I used earlier it's just small and it's really great for doing detail work underneath the eye okay so now I'm gonna go in with the other side of the palette which is the brush blushes and highlights but like I was saying earlier this one can definitely be used as a bronzer on me um, only because it's too dark to be as a highlight so that's exactly what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take this really fluffy brush this is by Aesthetica this is a P12 brush and I'm just going to place this shade all over the brush like this and then I'm just going to buff it into the face so it's giving like a really nice um, brownish glow to my skin now I'm going to use this brush right here and this is an Ulta brush I'm thinking I'm going to use this shade right here only because that just it's just catching my eye the most so I'm just going to put some of this on top of here and then I'm working this on my cheeks and the apples of my cheeks this eye is driving me crazy it's already messing up my look look at that I don't know why this eye is watering so bad okay so I'm taking another Sonia Kashuk brush and it looks like this um, I still don't know the name of these brushes and I oh, oh no no I'm going to use this highlight so let's see how this performs and I'm just gonna take some of that on my brush it actually looks like too much so I took a little bit off and now I'm just going to place this here Ooh, that is very that is very beautiful oh my goodness and that was just a little bit okay I did not have a whole lot Ooh, I'm glowing but I'm not oily does that make any sense probably not but you cannot deny that it gives you a beautiful glow okay I like this a lot all right the last thing to try is the gloss so as you can see I put on a pink lip because I thought it would pair really well with this um, eyeshadow look um, I'm kind of regretting this kind of shade of pink I might actually remove it hold on okay so I changed the color pink um, I really don't own much pink so I'm using this color pop one this is in cami it's actually a really beautiful um, everyday lip color um yeah so we're just gonna go with that so here we go i'm gonna take some of the gloss i actually kind of don't want to ruin the applicator so i'm gonna actually put some here in the back of my hand and with this flat shader brush by luxie this is a 245 small shader brush but i'm gonna use it as a lip thing and i'm just gonna apply this all over the lip Okay, so this is the end of my tutorial. If you made it this far, thank you so much. You are a really cool person. So let's get right into some final thoughts and then we'll end this video. Um, so I'm going to start off with this lip gloss. It's actually really nice. It's not sticky. It's not goopy at all. It feels really nice on the lips. And it has this beautiful uh, pearlesque of, of purpleness in it. It's really beautiful, really gorgeous. Um, this highlighter is amazing it did such a beautiful job highlighting it just looks gorgeous um, this right here is a hit and miss for me and it pains me to say that because I absolutely wanted to love this palette like ugh, like this the matte eyeshadows uh, definitely you got to work on them they're very chalky uh, the pigmentation isn't there as you saw like I really had to build up that purple shade it just wasn't there but the shimmer shades were buttery soft very easy to work with they blended very beautifully if it wasn't for my eye watering and ruining this makeup look I would be like so proud to present this to the world these work really great it has really beautiful blushes the highlights are great um, you if you're light complexed like me like light to medium you could probably pull this shade off as a bronzer that gives you like just a nice glowy warm um, but overall 
Um, if you are a Die Hard Mermaid fan, then go for it. Go buy this entire collection. It's not even ex that expensive. I think altogether, I think I spent about $37 at the top of my head. Almost $40. Um, but if you are just a makeup collector or somebody who likes mermaid, but you're not like like over the moon for mermaid, then I would say pass on, on, on at least the eyeshadow palette. I would recommend the highlight and the gloss if you really wanted something. So this is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. And if you can, please give this video a thigh. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up because it really shows me that you enjoy content like this and you just overall like this video. And give me a subscribe if you want to see more content from me. If you want to keep seeing this face, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Also, look at my shirt. Isn't this cute? I wore this shirt specifically for this tutorial. Mermaid hair? Don't care. <laughs>